So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to detect a rainfall anomaly using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to detect a rainfall anomaly using Google Earth Engine first we have to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine. So to import our country's boundary layer into Earth Engine we defined a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection us dos lsb lsib simple 2017 and we are defining specific country name called the specific country name called uganda equals to country dot filter double dot filter dot eq country name and that is uganda and uh, to add this layer that is to view this country layer in earth engine we have to define map dot add layer uganda so the next I have created a random point uh, point in my study region that is in Uganda. I have created a random point and this represents our latitude and longitude of that random point. So the next step we have to import our rainfall data into earth engine. So to import our rainfall data into earth engine we have to define a variable called. So we need to define a variable called shrips equals to double dot image collection us sb chg shrips pen date. So this specific code will uh, this specific code will insert our rainfall data into Earth Engine. In that we're going to select specifically the data called precipitation. So for that we define select dot select precipitation, and we have to filter with a specific study region. For that we define dot filter bound Uganda. So specifically selecting this study region called Uganda. So next we have to uh, calculate the reference data for the each of the month. So what it does is calculates the mean value for each of the month. So starting from 1 to 12 here represents from January to December. So to calculate the reference data we have to define a variable called mean equals to image collection double dot list sequence. So we are starting from the month January to, to December. So it basically it calculates the long term mean value for each month. There is a long term a mean rainfall value for each month starting from January to December. So next we have to start with our anomaly. So we are starting from uh, 2017 onwards. So up to uh, three years we are going to calculate the anomaly rainfall anomaly for this specific region study region called Uganda. So for that we define a variable called start equals to double dot date. So we are uh, so we are starting our uh, starting date is from 2017 January 1. So uh, we're going to cover up to three years for to, uh, three years to view our rainfall anomaly. So next we defined a variable called months equals to double e dot list sequence starting from zero to thirty six. So here the zero represents our starting month that is here represented as two thousand seventeen January one, and thirty six here represents our three years. So that is so it starts from two thousand seventeen. So you can see here in this section you can start from two thousand seventeen to two thousand nineteen. So it covers around 300, uh, it covers 3 years of uh, rainfall anomaly for this specific study region. So next we are going to calculate a mean value of uh, rainfall anomaly for each month and each year. So for that we define a variable called by month equals to double e dot image collection dot from image. So what this function it does is it uh, calculates the mean anomaly value for each month. And what it does this function it does is it calculates our rainfall anomaly value. So it ca calculates that is from the mean anomaly minus subtracting from our reference value. So to calculate the mean anomaly value it uh, we subtract this value with our reference value. So, so this is our reference value the long term uh, long term rainfall uh, mean value. So this entire code will calculate the, the rainfall anomaly for each month. So this specific code will calculate the rainfall anomaly for uh, for each month. So next we have to set a visualization parameter for our rainfall anomaly map. So for that we defined a variable called rainfall palette. So here we have three different palettes. So we have three different color palettes. So one of uh, the color palettes here represents a very low rainfall anomaly. And this color palette represents a very moderate uh, rainfall anomaly and this specific color represents a high rainfall anomaly. So here this specific color the red indicates a high rainfall anomaly and here this specific color called green here represents our low rainfall anomaly. So next we have to add this layer into earth engine. To add this layer to an earth engine we have to define map.addLayer 
double e dot image by month dot dot first function. So here the by month here represents this specific variable. So it represents this variable and dot first function. And uh, next we are using dot clip. So clip by our study region called Uganda, and we are setting a minimum and maximum value for our uh, rainfall anomaly. Here the minimum value represents minus one, and the maximum value represents one. The color palette we are using is we have three different color schemes we are using for the specific uh, rainfall rainfall anomaly map. So we are representing with the lowest value of rainfall anomaly is represented in this specific color called green. And similarly, the high rainfall anomaly are represented in this specific value using the specific value called red. And output the layer name as rainfall anomaly. So next to center our layer. So next to center our layer, we define map dot center object Uganda, and with the zoom level of six. So to visualize the rainfall anomaly map, first we have to create a time series chart for our rainfall anomaly. So for that we created or defined a variable called chart ui dot chart dot image dot series. So image collection. So we are representing this specific variable by month, which represents here. And next the region is point. So we are used as a point as our uh, region of interest. And uh, reducer. So we are using reducer dot mean function in order to obtain a mean var uh, rainfall anomaly value. So at last we are setting our scale value of ten thousand and x property as our date. So now uh, let me uh, so to view our graph we have to define print chart. So let me reset this. So now let me run this code. Go to the option called run script and click run script. So now let us visualize our rainfall anomaly map for the study region called Uganda. So this is our study region Uganda. We have two different layer. One layer represents our study region that is our study area boundary. So this is a study area boundary called Uganda, and similarly, this is our rainfall anomaly. So this is our rainfall uh, anomaly uh, map of Uganda. So here you can able to visualize that we have a very high rainfall anomaly in this part of the region that is represented in the red color, and similarly, a low, low rainfall anomaly was uh, visualized in this part of the section of this Uganda study region. So here. Towards the northeastern part of the study region, we have a very low rainfall anomaly, and similarly towards the uh, towards southeast southwest, we have our low rainfall anomaly. In the interior part of the study region, we have very high rainfall anomaly that has been noticed. And now let us visualize our time series chart. So this is our time series chart for our rainfall anomaly. So now let us visualize it. So this is the rainfall anomaly map starting from 2017 to 2019. Here it starts from January, February, March, April, May up to uh, December. So you can able to visualize there is a very high positive anomaly that is indicated in during the February month, and similarly very low negative anomaly was observed in the month of April in 2017. And similarly, in 2018, very high rainfall anomaly was observed in the month of February, and very low was observed in in uh, July. And uh, similarly, in 2019, we have a very high rainfall anomaly in July, and very low in the month of uh, March, and very high in the month of uh, December. So now let me get back to Earth Engine. So in this video, I've shown you how to. Uh, Visualize our rainfall anomaly detection using our rainfall data and also visualize our rainfall anomaly using our time series chart. So we have visualized the different uh, positive and negative anomaly from 2017 to 2019 for the study region Uganda. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. And codes will be available in the description. Give us a like.